Now let's introduce our first guest. She's the Mentoring, Advocacy and Peer Support, or MAPS for short, manager here at the Sutton Volunteer Centre. Let's welcome Helen Gasparelli. Thank you so much for joining us, Helen. So tell us how you got involved with MAPS. Oh, it's quite an interesting story, actually, because I started as a volunteer myself. Um, about nine years ago, I moved to the borough and I was really keen to get involved in something in my community to help me get to know it. Um, and at that same time, I'd just started an open university degree. Um, I was, wanted to change my career, wanted to go into youth work, but youth work's a really broad spectrum and I wasn't sure what area I wanted to go into. So I thought volunteering would be a great opportunity to get some experience. Um, so I contacted the volunteer centre and among many opportunities, they brought me to mentoring. So I came along to the training absolutely fell in love with the project from the training the team were infectious and I just thought this is what I want to do this is what I want to do for my career so I became a volunteer and supported um, a number of young people and eventually um, applied for a position here which I was successful in and then over the years just got more experience and eventually became the maps manager and the rest is history really <laughs> So as of today, how many people have you connected with so far? And are these people from across Sutton? That's a really good question. I think if we're talking since I started at MAPS, thousands. Um, but in the last year, we've actually connected as a project with over 300 young people. And they live in all 18 wards of the borough of Sutton. Some of them live in our neighbouring boroughs because if they're a looked after child, they might not be placed here locally. So we try and support children where we can to make sure that no one misses out. The success of our mentoring programme really is that it's voluntary, so children and young people don't have to be a part of it. It's not a statutory service, no one's going to make them do it. And MAPS is very much about empowering young people to make their own decisions. So when we go and meet them for the first time, one of the very first things we tell them is that they don't actually have to be part of the project if they don't want to. So they have that choice. And we tell them that our volunteers are giving their time freely. They're not paid to be there. They're simply doing it because they want to. And young people find that really powerful. They actually find it quite amazing that somebody wants to do something for free. So it's a good example to set them. Um, but they find that really powerful that actually somebody just wants to spend time with them to support them and to help them. So we give the volunteers the opportunity to be part of the project we give the young people the opportunity to be part of the project and as a result of giving people the power of choice we have a 91 percent take up in service from young people which is really very high um, so we're very proud of the service that we provide now the thing that's really impressed us is that the mentors have so far generated more than hundred and twenty five thousand pounds in social value so have you got a bigger target in mind and how are you going to get there I think it's a really interesting question because it's really important to be able to demonstrate social value for a number of reasons. But for me, what's more important than the actual number is the impact on children and young people. So for me, it's about the work that our volunteers do. It's about them being face to face with young people and journeying with them for a whole year. Our mentoring programme is um, a year-long service. So mentors really get the opportunity to build up a trusting relationship with young people. So they meet once a week, each week, for around one to two hours. Um, and they'll go out into the local community. They'll do positive activities. It's a space and time where a young person can kind of unpack life and talk through some of their challenges if they want to um, with somebody who's trusted and that's safe and that's going to support them, that's not going to judge them. And the impact of that is, is phenomenal. Um, but with ever-growing demand on services, we're always trying to recruit more volunteers. We have more young people referred to us year on year, and we are always trying to find more people that want to work in their local community, that just have a passion for young people and want to support them. Um, so I would sort of urge anybody who's interested in volunteering to get in contact with the Volunteer Centre Sutton um, and also speak to one of the MAPS team. You don't have to have any special skills. You simply have to be able to listen and be non-judgmental. That's all we ask. 
Now the future is looking pretty bright for MAPS, isn't it? You've been awarded three years funding by the Big Lottery Fund Reaching Communities. Congratulations. So what is this funding going to be used for? So this is a really exciting piece of funding. This is going to enable us to provide a mentoring service to young carers for a three year period. Um, we work very closely with Sutton Carers Centre who provide a diverse range of activities and support for people in caring roles. But what we recognised through referrals that were being made to our service is that they are unable to provide a one-to-one -one service for a long period of time. So we saw that there was this gap and recognised that we could provide mentoring support to those young people. And what's really great is that the Carers Centre can refer to us but equally, if we identify young people that don't know about or aren't accessing the Carers Centre, we can refer to them. So it's about getting a real community approach to supporting young people and their families. Now, you also did say something about Sutton Council. Oh yes, we've been um, very lucky enough to be awarded another three-year funding pot um, from Sutton Council this year, and that's to provide an advocacy service. Advocacy is slightly different from mentoring um, in that advocacy is all about having a child or young person's voice heard in meetings where decisions are made about them. So, for example, if a young person is going onto a child protection plan, um, they can have their thoughts and wishes presented at those meetings where decisions are made about them. Now finally, is it true that MAPS is the Queen's favourite mentoring programme? I personally like to think so, yes. <laughs> In all seriousness, um, we were awarded an organisational MBE, which is the Queen's Award for Voluntary Service. This was last year, so in June last year, um, four of us went up to Buckingham Palace to a garden party, which was completely awe-inspiring, I have to say. I spent quite a lot of the day just staring at things, which was amazing. Um, and it's an award that recognises the contribution of volunteers in our local community. So really, it's an award not just for MAPS, but for every single volunteer that supports young people in Sutton. Well, thank you very much, Helen, for joining us on SVTV. So if you'd like to discover more about MAPS, then go to the website. We've got the details at the bottom of the screen. You can also follow them on Facebook and Twitter. But for now, we're going to be joining Emma for some more stories around Sutton. Take it away. Well, that's the end of our latest show from SVTV. Thanks for watching and we hope you enjoyed it. Now, don't forget to keep up to date with the latest news, events mm -hmm. and opinions from across this wonderful London borough at suttonvoice.co.uk. Yeah, that's right. And if you haven't got your best Sutton fix from today, make sure you check out our YouTube channel. You can also follow Sutton Voice on Twitter and Facebook, mm. but not Instagram. Hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye. Bye.